The other day somebody was asking me about a console 206 and what was the biggest thread it could sew and what was the smallest thread it can sew. We're going to try a couple of different sizes of needles today. The smallest needles I have for this are uh, a 16. I think you could do some 14s in here. I've got some 24s. With these two needles I'm going to use some, some 138 with the size 24 needle and then I've got some Tex 40 that I'm going to put through the 16 needles. So I've got a size 16 needle in here, Tex 40 thread. When you have bobbins this big, you know, you're going to put a lot of thread on there. So I didn't load the whole thing. Uh, and let me just say, I'm not recommending that uh, anybody necessarily use this machine. If you're going to sew with, with thread this light or lighter, you probably want a different machine. But some people just kind of want you know can only have one machine so this is going to kind of be an exercise to see how, how does it work one of the problems that you have when you uh, go to to use a, uh, a machine like this with a, a lot different size thread is when you have a larger thread coming through here that tension that that spring is going to apply, apply is going to be more but since this thread is so much smaller it's way too loose you can't even pick up the case. So what I've got to do is I've got to adjust the tension. Now when we go back to a thread which is more in, in keeping with this type of machine, we'll have to reset the tension on the case. This is one of the problems that you run into when you try to do everything with one machine. You've got to make a lot of adjustments to switch from one size of thread to another, especially when you go in such wide variances. Okay, a uh, cautionary tale. This looks nice, uh, it looks new. Now that it malfunctioned and I look closer at it, I can see machining marks. I mean, that's, that's really poor. The spring lever popped off and uh, it wouldn't close properly when in installed in the machine. If you go to buy a case, don't try to save your money on these cheap parts. The best thing to do is get original if you can. They're gonna act the, the way they should. Now I was lucky uh, I bought this machine and this older looking case a, a better quality. I noticed that when I, I install it it fits a lot better. Just make sure and get good parts whenever you're getting parts for these machines. Moving on. It takes a lot of trial and error to get the tension set. One of the issues with sewing light or small on a machine like this, uh, there's many different components that have to come together. One of them is the feed dog, and the hole on this feed dog is uh, relatively large. It's pretty big, so the hole has to be larger for uh, to accommodate larger needles, needles up to 22, maybe 24, and larger thread, threads up to maybe 138. So in order for all that big stuff to get through here, th this hole's got to be pretty big. So when you try to sew something lighter, then when uh, it goes over such a large hole, the, the fabric becomes depressed into it and distorts. And so that can lead to puckering and finish a finished stitch that is not quite as uh, good as you might hope it would be. That's another reason why a machine like this is better for medium to heavy weight materials. The machine that does everything just really doesn't exist. In order for something to do something really good, many parts have to come together in just a certain way. This needs to have the top tension brought up. Alright, that looks a lot better. Also, when we pull it, it apart, we've got to 
Got a good seam formed here. Do some top stitching on that now. We've actually done pretty good. Uh, I guess you can see a little bit of uh, puckering on this material. I think given a wash that 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 might work out. Actually I'd, I'd say this is a success. Yeah that, that does pretty good. It did take me quite a while to get the top and the, the bottom tension set and matched but having said that if, if you needed to do a project you know you spend a half hour getting set up and, and then you're off to the races and and so that, that would be doable. Your results may vary. Now I'm going to change over to Tex 138. Take that out. As I'm loading this, I notice that the 138 just barely fits through this this slot. If anything, this this may be one size too big. But we're going to go ahead and press forward and see how it does. I would say that this, if if not one too much, is the maximum you would want to want to use in in this machine. One of the issues that we have is because I had adjusted this tension down to apply a good tension on a size 40 thread. It's really too tight for this bigger thread. You know, it just can't fit underneath the spring of its previous setting as, as easily. Maybe a half a turn. Now we'll take out this 16 and we'll put in a 24. So we've got a new needle. The bobbin case tension has been adjusted. Rethreaded the machine. I have not yet adjusted the top tension. We'll see See how it does on one piece of denim. We can see that this denim is is puckered. The stitch formed is way high to the to the top, so we're gonna have to loosen this top tension quite a bit. I've loosened that about three turns. Let's see what, how that goes. Okay, so I'd run out of uh, tension adjustment room on my thread tensioner. Again, this thread is at the top of this machine's capacity. So what I did was I, I re-threaded the machine in such a way as it, it didn't go through, make as many turns on some of the uh, pre-tension guides. So let's try that. So we'll move on to some leather in this case, something more appropriate to the size of uh, thread, needle, and this machine. So now we've got this machine set up pretty good to sew a 138 thread on a couple of thicknesses of, of leather. This is probably a little less than a quarter of an inch thick. There's how you get a machine to sew these different thicknesses of uh, thread. We've got it set up now where it'll sew a 138 thread using a size 24 needle. It does it just fine. So I've demonstrated that this machine is capable of doing text 40 thread and text 138 thread using a size 16 needle and a size 24 needle. It's, it's doable. Uh, there's a lot of adjustments to go through in order to get that done. But if you only have one machine, I guess you can do that. Thanks a lot for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel.